Okay, here we go. Alleged Facebook Live killer reportedly told police he awoke intending to kill mother of three. During an 80-minute standoff with Shreveport Police April 12th, the alleged Facebook kill Live killer fired close to 30 rounds from a semi-automatic rifle, including two that struck Juanita Luna Williams in her midsection, killing the 27-year-old mother of three. This additional information in the high-profile murder case against Jonathan Robinson came to light during a preliminary hearing Tuesday morning before Caddo District Judge Ramona Emanuel. After hearing testimony and cross-examination of Shreveport Police Sergeant Jeff Brown, lead investigator on the case, the judge ruled that probable cause exists to charge Robinson with second-degree murder. Uh, I just want to note here that he confessed, so there's really no sense in even dragging this out. He has confessed to what he did. I personally believe he was driven uh, to this. I believe he was manipulated for months, if not years. I believe his buttons were pushed and manipulated for months, if not years. I, got a, I believe in my heart that he was driven into this madness by a black woman. Um, according to Brown's testimony during a recorded police interview at SPD headquarters following the standoff, Robinson admitted to waking up at his mother's Shreveport home that morning intending to kill Williams. The 36-year-old Shreveport man also reportedly told investigators, members of the police department, I mean he was trying to kill police officers when he fired on eight members of the police department, wounding Officer Robert Entrecken. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, he's admitted to everything. He sure has. Uh, what we're not hearing from him is the psychological abuse, the emotional abuse, the, the emotional manipulation, the psychological manipulation. And we may never hear that because I doubt he'll take the stand. Uh, but I would be interested to know um, how long he was dealing with her and for how many years he suffered this manipulation. Yeah, he was driven into madness. Uh, and Trekkin still is recovering from a bullet wound to one of his forearms and remains on paid medical leave. Brown testified that Robinson shot several times with a semi-automatic rifle in her knee torso and upper body. Her blood, according to Brown, was found in Williams's bedroom and living room. During testimony that lasted more than 30 minutes, Brown stated that Robinson kicked in the front door of Williams's home on Natalie Street in Shreveport and took her hostage while her brother, Jamar Say Williams, escaped and called police. Shortly thereafter, Brown testified that an officer Mackey arrived on the scene and immediately took fire from Robinson, who now was holed up in the Cattle Heights home. Several more officers also would take fire, including members of the police department's special response team. Brown testified that Williams and Robinson had a past relationship, but that at the time of her death, Robinson was dating Sharika Taylor of Houston, Texas. Yeah, he, he had finally gotten away from this toxic relationship with Renita Williams and God only knows what all he had to go through in, in order to get away from her to get out of that relationship being constantly manipulated constant psychological manipulation constant emotional manipulation yes he finally got away from her and she couldn't handle it And according to Brown, Robinson forced um, Williams to apologize to Taylor on Facebook Live for making fun of his new girlfriend. Yeah, that's what they do. You know, when you when you move on, when you finally are able to get away from them after months and years of trying, you know, they cannot handle it. That's when they do whatever they can to bring you down. He had moved on from her. 
he had let her go and he was gone in a completely different state with another woman with a new life but she was determined to drag him back no matter how dirty she had to get to do it they're relentless Brown stated on the stand that Robinson then fatally shot Williams as the Facebook live stream continued. During the standoff, Brown said Shreveport police didn't, did ref, return fire. During the standoff, Brown said Shreveport police did return fire, shooting out the tires of Robinson's car, which was parked with the engine running in Williams' driveway. So that tells you right there he had no intention of staying there. He went there on a mission and he was going to leave. You know, that was his only mission to solve this problem that he can't get away from. He can't get rid of this problem. He saw no other way to deal with this problem. This was a problem that took him don't know how long to get away from. And no matter what he did, he could not get away from it. She was determined to bring him down one way or the other. Prior to the deadly incident, Robinson was in Houston with Taylor, but returned to Shreveport the Sunday or Monday before Williams' death. See, he was he was uh, he was with his new lady in Houston, Texas. Robinson will be arraigned June 19th, which I'm not surprised he has already uh, confessed. So that will count for something. On one count of second degree murder and two counts of criminal damage to property. He is expected to undergo a psychological examination prior to that court hearing. And I believe in my heart that psychological examination will bring out some of the psychological torture that he went through in that relationship and with and dealing with that black woman. Now, it, 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 I can tell you now, it will not make a difference in the case, but it makes a difference to me. Anyway, I have your um, GoFundMe page set up, and I will be, um, once you get situated and, uh, and get settled in and all of this is behind you, I do plan on sending you something so that you will have something on your books. You know, you were driven to this, and I know that, and I'm sure a lot of other people know that as well. So I won't be manipulated by these black women. I won't let them manipulate my mind. My mind is telling me that you were a victim and in my mind you will always be a victim. And from the very first time I heard of this story, that's the very first thing I thought about. And I, and I will always feel that way. Regardless of what any black women say, regardless of how many pages they shut down, it won't change. I will support you and I'm not the only one just hang in there and don't kill yourself main thing do not kill yourself and you will deal with everything else <laughs>